Good morning, everyone. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya, Psychic Crafts. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm in my craft room and loving it, having some fun. So you, if you have been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I did a Globeland um, opening the other day, and I wanted to get these babies out and make some fun items for a journal for my ephemera box, for whatever. And I thought, let's make some, we're gonna make some tickets and tickets and labels with these, and we're gonna decorate with the stamps. So this is what I had actually purchased them for, and so I'm excited to go ahead and get them out to use and try something a little different. So I hope that you will get out some stamps of your own. If you're interested in getting these, the links will all be in the description box and let's do some crafting together so thank you for being here let's get started so um that one's different okay so i found this this is packaging from something oh from papers i have the papers i was gifted these and um but i was looking at this and thought wouldn't she be an adorable little ticket or something so when i go to do my die cuts she's going to be on at least one of these and I'll probably cut this whole thing up but we're not going to stamp on it because it's glossy paper and I don't think it'll stay and I don't want to ruin what's going on here this is just beautiful but I thought I wanted to show you this because you can use stuff like this to make your tickets stamps and ephemera if you don't like this side just cover it put some cardstock or some paper over the back of it something that you do like because um, it'll cover easily and um, then you'd have a writing surface on there, which is probably what I'll do before I cut this up. But we're not, I'm not going to show that on screen because you know how to glue paper to paper. And, you know, all that's left will be cutting because this is just so beautiful. So I'm going to set that aside for now. And let's get some paper out. I just got some plain. This is a, an off-white, almost a yellow paper from, uh, I got this from Michael's. And I just thought we'd just stamp it and make it beautiful and, um, you know, maybe we can get out some colored pencils or something. We'll put this aside because I'm going to do this off screen as well. You don't need to see die cutting. You've seen that before, I'm sure, too. And then I thought we'd just kind of play with some stamps and have some fun, you guys. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Today is Saturday, and it is a good day. It is a work day for me, so I will be back at it once again today, and grateful for having a job and the fun that I get to have there. So, <laughs> all the animals are fed and happy. Well, no, they're not all fed and happy yet today. Um, a lot of them are fed and happy already. Let's see, which one is this one? Oh, this is for this group. Okay, good. Uh, I still had a stamp on here, but it's one of the ones that's missing. So we'll use that one first. Why not? And there is no rhyme or reason to how I'm going to do this. We're just going to kind of stamp all over. I'm going to leave some room for the ladies because I do want them to be good, big focal points. In fact, I probably should do them first. But since I have this stamp on here, we're just going to do this one first. You guys, it was so cool this morning. I went to turn on the lights in Finn's enclosure to wake him up. And there was a little bunny sitting on my back steps looking at me. I think we both caught each other by surprise. So I had, had to kind of wait to let the cats and the dog out to um, let the bunny escape. I finally, it was sat frozen for the longest time. So I finally opened the back door to say, hey, you know, are you okay? Move on. You're going to get eaten. This is not breakfast time for my other animals. I'm trying to let you let you survive. So um, me opening the door, of course, uh, sent the bunny off, which is great. I, I, I wanted it to go out into the yard and be free. So um, it was safe and it was okay. And then I was able to let Gretchen out because um, they've brought bunnies in before and it, it, it wasn't a good ending. It was, um, yeah. But it seems like every year... I get at least one that's brought into the house and just trying to save them. Save them all. I like them in, the, in my yard. I love seeing them. It's always a surprise. But I love seeing them out there sometimes. I have a fenced-in yard too, so 
it really is a surprise for me when I do see them. Not that, you know, rabbits can't get through a chain link fence, but... So we're just going to put some random, some random ladies all over. Some randos. <laughs> we'll just kind of put that to the side. There's no rhyme or reason here. And the, they won't all show up perfectly in the stamps because they're going to be a little bit big. And that's okay with me. Um, that's perfectly fine. And I'm probably going to put them different directions and stuff too. And there's so many. I just, I love these stamps. They're stamping out really nice and crisp. I really like them. They're working out great so far. I mean, that was just the first one, but here, let's just, we'll just go down the line here. Here's a second one. She looks so elegant. And I don't mind if they lap over. It actually like makes them look a little more like they're, you know, supposed to be like that. Look how great they're stamping. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have fun with these because I love the um the sewing and the fabric journals and uh, you know, I love that because it's got the the clo the cloth in there the fabrics and stuff the fabrics and fibers I guess oh look at her cute dress it's nostalgic for me I guess um, because I used to sew clothing a lot when I was in junior high and high school I was actually sewing my own clothing um, they gave me a pass on home ec. They didn't even make me take home ec because I already knew how to do all that stuff. The teacher told me that I even taught her stuff in, in sewing. She's like, you taught me stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, I did take sewing class. They did have me do sewing class because I had to take, I had to take it, um, an elective in that grouping for junior high, but the teacher was telling me that I knew more about it than she did. My grandma taught me a lot about sewing, so it wasn't, it was fun. I had a good time with it, and I wanted to take it because that gave me an excuse to do my craft, right? My craft at the time. Love her hat. Look, this is a cute little outfit. She's got a little bikini top on, or a skirt, and her sandals. Look like Familares. Remember Familares? Some of you may be too young, but I bet most of you will know what familiares are. I was in, I think, I, was, I don't know, I was still in elementary school. And I begged for familiares. Begged. And I got a pair, and then I had to go to school and run in PE. Yeah, that was a mistake. Remember, because they had a wavy bottom on them. If you guys don't know what familiares are, couldn't tell you how to spell it anymore. But they had heels on them that were really thick and wavy, and they were super cute. They were very trendy at the time, and I begged and begged. I did get a pair. I was allowed to have a pair, but uh, I don't think they lasted long when I had to run in, in PE in school or play kickball. That didn't work out too good. I remember that. <laughs> there was probably a note home to my parents what are you thinking <laughs> but they got me the pair of shoes I really really wanted our local shoe store had a pair I was like please please they need to be mine oh shoot you know what I was going to do I was going to actually glue some of these on here well that's that's a different project we'll, we'll collage a different project I don't need to collage these on here. I do want to stamp each one of these out. So I've got two more that I haven't stamped, but that one's getting too full. So, And as I'm thinking about it, I probably should have left more room on that other page, but whatever. We're good. We're just going to do, we're just going to do our thing. We'll, we'll work it out. We'll 
we'll do this page a little different because I only have two more models that I want to stamp. In fact, we'll just kind of spread them out down here and then we can use the top for the other stamps if we want to. All right, they all turned out great. These are just beautiful. I really love them. Remember, if you want your own, um, I'm not getting any kind of commissions or anything from you linking them, but you'll have um, codes and stuff for discounts and, um, you know, you'll get your own. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. So I want to put, let's, I haven't done these stamps. I think I did one of these stamps on another project. But I'm going to stamp all these out too. Oh, maybe I must not have because it still takes shut pretty good. I thought I did. I guess not. I guess I haven't used those yet. Well, yay. Let's use them today. So, I almost feel like I could just stamp this on there, but it wouldn't stick to my, my stamping set, would it? So we're going to stamp these out individually as well. Now it'd be kind of fun to do these in color. Now because they're kind of grungy, I don't expect them to be perfect. Well, I expect them to be perfect, I guess, if I want them to be perfect. And it would help if... No, nope, that is the right side. Let's try that again. Oh, I see what's happening. The six is indented in. Okay. I was expecting different than it did. But that's because my expectations were incorrect. So let's try that again. And since they haven't stamped before, it's probably not going to be perfect. That's much better. That's really pretty. And like I said, I was expecting, I am um, definitely expecting some grungy ones because that's why I got this set. I wanted some grungy looking Stamparoonies. And I got them. This would be fun in color added to the ladies too, wouldn't it? It'd be a different color. My chair is so squeaky. Very nice. One, two, three. It stamped pretty well considering that's the first stamp ever on that one. Love the paper clip on there. Do two of those. I don't know why I'm cleaning it off if I'm going to do another one, but let's do another one. Very nice. This block is so big. Let's put this one, let's put this one in here. Why not? Yep, that turns out really nice too, of course. These are great. I would definitely recommend them. And that is me being my honest review self because you've heard me give negative reviews before. Even if I was given free product, if I'm going to tell you guys the truth, if I don't like a product, I'm going to tell you about it. I won't be mean and bash the company or anything, but I'll tell you. I will be totally honest about that because I don't want you guys saying, oh, Tanya loved it and then come back, go get it and hate it and then come back and say, that is not what you told me. That would really bother me. So, yeah, I'll always tell you what I think. The good, the bad, the ugly, I'll tell ya. <laughs> but I can say I do like these a lot. I think they're great. I'm going to kind of put these a little bit inside the, the dolls a little bit just to kind of add them. I already did that one, didn't I? Yeah, I already did that one. Two, four, yeah. I could have, could have just noticed it was dirty and that would have showed me that I did it. So what are you guys doing this fine sun Saturday? I was gonna say Sunday. Hi Cash, hello, good morning. Tell your fans hello. Tell your fans hello. I know everybody loves hearing from you. <laughs> you guys are awesome. 
You guys are funny. You're always saying hello to my cat. <laughs> but she's saying hello to you, so why not, right? That's right. All right, that's... I love this one. This I think this might be my favorite one. It's got the daisies on it. I really like that stamp. That's really pretty. I think this one has flowers on it, too. Does this one have flowers, too? This one has... um. Not flowers, but it has some uh, plants, some leaves and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if I can kind of put this around her a little bit. Maybe right there. Yeah, see the greenery is there. Stamp it clearly here. Isn't that pretty? Love it, love it, love it try this one. I know you guys have seen stamping before. I'm sorry. I hope this isn't boring. What I can do is actually, I'll finish stamping this one out because there's only a couple more. I'll stamp the other one and then come back or off screen and then I'll come back to you. So you don't have to sit through all the stamping. There we go. That one's really cool too. We've got one more of this group, and then I'll cut the camera, finish the other one, or finish putting them all on there, and I'll tell you how it went. This one I want to go, I think, this way. I kind of want them placed kind of random, because um, when I go with, cut with the die cuts... It'll give me some space to put them in. That one, actually, even though this one doesn't have the flower, I love the flowers, but I really like that one. That's going to be good for, like, ID cards and stuff, I think. This one, too. All of them, honestly. I like those. I think I'm going to kind of fill this area in with this one. So I think it'll be good for the tickets, too. Let's just fill it in. not doing this very straight, am I? I guess it doesn't matter too much. There. I should put something. Let's put something there. I think I have that smaller one I can put there. Now, I will show you real quick before I go, because some of you are probably wondering, how am I going to get these stamps in between these ladies without covering them up? So one of the things you can do if you're not familiar with stamping or you're just maybe it's I don't know I, I'm probably not teaching you nothing new teaching you nothing new that is so bad grammar um scrap paper I'll use a book page because we should be doing these on book page too right because they'd be fun on book page So what you can do is mask off the section you don't want to stamp. Say I don't want to cover her up, but I still want to put this stamp near her. I would want to angle this in such, as, such a way where I get the stamp where I want it, but not on the design. So that's going to mask off her. See what I'm saying? So if you just don't want to put, you know, you can kind of tear a piece if you want to. And, you know, maybe I just want that stamp to go just right there. I can cover my lady up, even if I want it to overlap her just a bit. Then we can just stamp this way, and we've got it masked off. Okay, so you can do that. And I'm going to go ahead and work on these, and when I'm done, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I have got these stamped out. So we did this one together. And you can see all the different ones. I'm really, really happy with these stamps. Look how these turn, this one turned out. I had so much fun stamping all these numbers and everything everywhere. It says beautiful, best quality. I probably could have put a few more on here, but I thought, you know, I don't know exactly how these um, die cuts are going to lay. So I just kind of left it at that. So next is going to be cutting these out and seeing what we get. So as soon as I have those cut, I will be back. We'll see you in a minute. All right, so here we go. I was able to get some really, really cool tickets and labels out of these die cuts. They worked really, really well, cut like butter, had no issues at all, and had a lot of fun doing it. So I'm thinking that we're going to look at these a little bit 
and we're going to go through one by one and see if they need anything, see if we can add anything, maybe some color, like this one. I want to kind of mask that that's a dress because it doesn't really make sense in this uh, format, but like these are great because they've got the ladies on them. So we'll kind of do a little play with that, but they turned out really cool. Of course, you can place your die cuts however you want them to pick up the images you want. Like I was able to get a lady in each ticket. So that's kind of neat. And we'll make something fun out of them. So isn't she cute? They turned out really great. And then we got some grungy ones, some with just numbers, approved. So those are awesome. Do you guys like them? I like them. But I do want to add some color. So let's kind of set these aside. For just a second we'll kind of go through one by one I'm thinking I want to add some green I want to add some green and some blue I think I have a blue here second ago, earlier this week which means it should still be here or maybe not don't I have the mariner oh wait 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 a minute there it is okay we can use we could use all of these honestly this green let's use this one I think it'll be a little a little more toned down so, um, let's see, let's get this one out. I think I'd like to use this 52. We used it before. Oh, I found another, what's this one? Number, is this from this one? No, that's from a different set. Okay, we're not using that today. Ooh, here's something. This one says New York. That would be kind of cool to add on there on some of them. We haven't used that one yet. Let's go and use, let's use that one. Maybe we could do it in, we'll do this one in green. I don't know why, just because maybe. But we'll just kind of put a few of these on there. And we'll put some, we're going to put some book page underneath that because I don't want that all over the desk. I don't want to have to deal with the cleaning, right? Okay. Just a little little stampage on there. Where did I put the first one? Over there. Why did I put that way over there? I don't know. Second generation's never a bad thing. Just like we had cut it, cut into it randomly. This one will do a little bit more just to kind of help disguise the bottom of her body. We'll do a little more on that one too. Just kind of this way. Don't have to be super precise, but you know. See, it adds a little something to it. Going back and adding color is never a bad thing. Unless you don't want it to. If you don't want color, that's okay too. Again, we've got the bottom of dresses here, so we'll just kind of go across that. Help disguise it just a little. We don't need to do all of them, but maybe we do need to do all of them. I don't know. I had some weird dreams again last night, you guys. Really, really weird. I'm kind of reeling still. I'm like, wait, what? I really can't talk about it, but it was really weird. So if I'm quiet, that might be what's going on. Thinking, I'm thinking about a lot right now. 
what the world was that? You know? We're doing all of them, apparently, because we're almost down to the bottom, so we'll skip one. How about that? <laughs> Maybe one doesn't need it. How did I miss? You could put two down at a time. There we go. We got two done at a time. Yeah, we want green on that one. Approved. Let's do two at a time again. Different directions. Seal of approval. You know. This one just says beautiful. We're going to put just a little green on there. Just a touch. Stamp up of approval. And that's the last one. So we did them all. All right, now, I'm going to stamp that one off. Wipe that off. Put it back. Now, I kind of want, I was going to do the 52, but maybe, what did I do with it, though? Where did I put it? Underneath there, probably. I was thinking maybe something a little smaller. The stars would be nice. Something very different than what we have on there. Yeah, I like it. You guys like it? The star works really neat. I'm just kind of put it across in some gaps, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, these are cute. These are really cute. I hope you guys will um, look into this if you like it and just kind of, you know, maybe you'll get some too, who knows. Be inspired or use what you have, use what you have. You may have something cool. I know you have some cool stuff too. There's no maybe about it. You guys like crafting too. I know you have cool stuff in your stash. Maybe you have something similar. Maybe you have something better. Maybe you have something totally different. It's all good. Get out your fun things and stamp away. And mass make. This is fun. You could even, I mean, you don't even need die cuts to make tickets. You can do them other ways. There's lots of videos about that, but you can just cut like um, rectangles and just cut the, you know, use your hole punch to cut the ends off or use your scissors. There's lots of ways to, to, to make something similar. But I like the um, being able to stamp, or not stamp, yeah, to stamp all over the paper and then having the small die cuts to, to run over it and just kind of, it feels like a master board kind of situation kind of a um, collage master board kind of thing. Isn't that cute? Some of these are going to be much more simple than others, but this is going to be a fun way to build up our ephemera stash as well for our journals. Five stars on there. That's five stars worthy. I like these colors too. It's kind of fun. Excellent. I'm going to hit them all. What are you guys working on these days? Easter's over. What's next? Mother's Day? Mother's Day maybe? Um, Father's Day? Are you guys ready for that? I'm not ready for any of it. None of it.
summer summer crafting. Do we do summer crafting? Summer swaps, some maybe. Nothing's well, Fourth of July, I guess. What are you guys working on? I have um, a couple collabs to do. I'm having fun with those. You'll see some of those coming up. Some challenges, some swaps. So those are always fun. She's lovely. There we go. This star one will be good for 4th of July, won't it? can find some fun things to make with that. Hopefully I'll remember I have it. I think that's the hard part for me is sometimes is just remembering that I have certain stamps. Let's get kind of crooked with this one. Some of these too, I like this one, has just her legs on it. Might be good for like um to use as a label and put something on top of it. I don't know. We'll do something interesting with that. Or maybe it won't matter, or maybe I'll stamp more on top of it so it doesn't show like that. <clears throat> when I know what I'm gonna do with it, I'll probably know better what I how how to fix it or how to make it suit me. Suit the purpose. All right, you guys, so that's those. Let's check it out and see what we got. Once again, I do recommend these these dies and these um, stamps. Um, couldn't say it enough. I really appreciate the opportunity to get to try them and use them. I've had, oh, I've caught, missed a couple, but that's okay. I had a great time, lots of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And, you know, we can take these and even grunge them up. Look, we can even grunge them. Where's my inky? Where's my inky? Right there. So you can leave them like that. You can see what they look like grunged up, though. Probably use the wrong color. Or just a little heavy-handed. This is vintage photo. Wow, it looks so different after using some of these darker colors now. It looks reddish. <laughs> but we can totally grunge these up if we want to. And make them look like they've been sitting around for a minute, right? Oh, you know why? I used burgundy on this stamp. That's why it's turning so red. Hang on a minute. I'm like, what is happening right now? That's not the color, is it? Am I going crazy? Okay, those. that's probably why those are turning so red. Because I had burgundy on that stamp. I forgot. That's better. I'm going to probably have to get rid of that brush. This is much better. I just thought my brain was seeing it wrong. Now we can even fold these here and, you know, make them darker there. Super, super cute. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you will get out your stamps, be inspired, make some fun things for your journals or your, you know, whatever crafts you're doing. And yeah, it's a great way to build up our stash for sure. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you so much for being with me today and crafting along. I hope you have a fantastic weekend with beautiful weather, lots of loved ones around, good food, or alone if you if that's what you prefer. Sometimes we get a little overwhelmed. But have a fantastic weekend, whatever you, you choose to do. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.